Hi there, welcome back to It's Only Paper. I'm Lisa and today I'm going to be doing a flip through with you of my 2012 scrapbook album. Um, I like doing these flip throughs, it's really fun. I was just going through it and it's really nice looking through your old work. It just really inspires ideas. You see things that you used to love doing that you forget that you did. And it also gives you, I think, um, ideas on different subjects to um, document as well. So even if you aren't a scrapbooker and you like to journal, hopefully this video will still give you lots and lots of inspiration and ideas. Now, something that you know that I do already, and this is something I was also doing sort of 10 years ago, I don't do things in order. I've always created as to what I fancy. And um, I find that works best for me. No pressure, I create for fun. And by doing things... As and when I fancy, that really, really helps me. So I'm going to take these out and go through each one. So this is what I created in 2012. Things like trips, um, I've done in separate albums, school holidays. I always did a mini book for the school holidays and various other things like birthdays. So these are all just day-to-day -day things. We've got a little bit of bunting. I've always liked a border around my work, as you can see. And we've got a couple of little photos. This was at a wedding there, which is really fun. And I was just documenting. I did when photos don't quite go right. So this was me asking Louis to take a photo of us, and that's what we got. So I thought it would be really fun to do the kind of candid shot and the actual shot. I thought that would be really, really fun. I've also got one here when we took my little niece Millie. You might recognise her if you watch my other videos. Um, that was when we took her pottery painting. It was so fun. And what I've liked doing, and I still do that sometimes now, is printing off my journaling and cutting it into strips. I love having that white contrast on a coloured background as well. I've actually used some packaging here, and then I've stapled a little bit of double-sided paper there to the top of the packaging, which was perfect. DIY shop and we were obviously doing a bit of DIY. And then we had coffee and cake afterwards. Now, all my trip layouts, um, if you're not familiar with scrapbooking, a page in a scrapbook album is called a layout. All my trip layouts are actually in separate albums. I do have a couple of those, so I will leave the links below. However, sometimes I might take a photo from one of our trips, but, use it in a different way. So I've taken this one here. I will take this one out actually because I want to show you the, whoops, oh, something's just fallen off, um, the stitching underneath. And then, but I've actually used this to document something. This is really interesting. So this was dated. And another thing, remember to date your pages. 26th of the 11th, 2012, it says, Aid is now working from home. So we are spending almost 24 hours in the same house a day. A true test to what good friends we really are. That's so cute. So that was 10 years ago. He must have started working from home. And then something I think uh, has fallen off of here. Oh, that's no longer sticky. Another reason to go back through your work sometimes. Let's add some sticky on that. We've got one of Holly. This is Holly at the age of 13. You wanted no fuss over your 13th birthday, but instead we treated and spoiled you to lots as we think you deserved it. You said it was your best birthday ever. Oh, that's so cute. I love the paint drips at the top there. I've noticed that my work was much more mixed media based as well, which you'll notice looking through. Something else I've just picked up on as well. I've got a couple of black and white photos here, layered them underneath, and the top photo is a printed colour photo. I thought that looked really cool. Next we have one of Louis, quite a large photo there with a couple of small ones messing around with Poppy. And I've just used my title here with some string going around to circle around the two photos, but then it's also the title um, curvy and the title sits on that. And it's all about Get Off The Dog, how he would never leave Poppy alone. He was always on her. Um, the next one is a beachy one. Lots and lots of paint on this one. Lots of layers. I've actually got a napkin underneath that one that I've sprayed on. And I remember creating that in the caravan where we went away in October. Next one, this one was also taken on a trip, 2012 trip. That was actually at SeaWorld. 
and um, it's just Holly and I, I just captured. I love the natural photos that you don't know are being taken. I've spray misted there over a doily and we've got some arrows there as well. I really love that one and it's quite a simple one, lots of white space. This one is with Louis talking about our special bond sat on the beach and again lots and lots of paint here and some stamps. One of Holly receiving her first lot of flowers in the post. They were from my mum. I like sometimes when it's a really bright background I've used gesso over the, um, over the paper there just so that the photo stood out better. It's one of Aid and Holly talking about how they squabble all the time, those two. You know when you have two similar personalities that really, really clash? That's those two. Um, then there's Family Giggles. We've got some nice um, stenciling going on there. I've used a date stamp here over and over again. I like that look. A little bit of twine over there and lots and lots of layers. I've got washi tape and just bits and pieces. That's Holly's birthday there. And then sometimes it's the silly little thing. We were all wearing Converse that night, so I've just taken a photo and documented that. And again, lots and lots of paint on there. So this one is a story that I documented. You know, sometimes you just have to. I love this page so much. Um, this photo doesn't actually have anything to do with the story, but I wanted to document the story and I just took a photo of Louis and I. And um, I've had a large A3 printer back then, so I was able to run my papers through, my scrapbooking papers, and type on them, or use um, a typed font. And it was just such a funny story at the time that I really, really wanted to document it, so it didn't matter that I didn't have a photo, I improvised and used that one instead. Then we've got Louis and Aid being silly. I've used put the, all the um, embellishments and the story and everything over to the one side. I like the little tucked corner there. It looks quite sweet. Another really silly story. This is so funny reading through. You forget these things. So I was reading through and apparently um, I was poorly and full of cold. Um, I'd taken the children to Leg Legoland, so it must have been school holidays, and I just lay on the sofa. Aid and I were due to have a date night, and we were supposed to go to Pizza Express. Um, and then Louis realised how poorly I was, and he looked at me laying on the sofa and said, if you cancel on Aid, will he dump you? <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Oh, I love that little heart at the top. But I just love the silly conversations. This one as well. I've placed my, I should do this again, I like this, placed my alphabet stickers, or probably they were probably chipboard stickers, on there, sprayed over the top and removed them. Isn't that cool? I'm missing a G. That must have come off somewhere along the line. It's probably stuck here somewhere. This one, oh, I like this one. This one is so cool. Just um, the children with baby Millie when Millie was a baby, my niece playing. I like how I've used my sunflower stencil with two different colours. I've got a pink and an orange there. That looks so cool. Just one of my sister and myself there. And a silly one of us pretending to fight over my dad. Um, a story all about us annoying my brother when my dad was visiting. I've done the stencil thing again here as well. I've used the stencil using some like pinky red and some yellow. I think that's a really lovely effect. And I've used the photo here as a pocket. So we've got um, a journaling card slot in there and the tag with the journaling is underneath. So that should, it does, pull out. That looks quite cool. Oh, and I've done the same here. There's another one there as well. This one here, just a day-to-day -day page about loving it when Aid brings me coffee in bed. That hasn't changed. I still love that. This one's a nice one. I went to Paris with some scrapbooking friends. This was such a lovely weekend. There we go. I've cut some papers into like rectangles and added a couple of photos. We went on a cruise, a dinner cruise. We had such a lovely time, we really did. It was such a lovely weekend. 
And then this one here, this was a silly conversation. Um, and I've used loads and loads of stickers here to document the conversation. So we received this on Christmas morning of Millie, baby Millie, in her new leotard. And I remembered that I still had my leotard from when I was little, and it was also purple, in the kids' dressing up box. So I responded that morning. I went and got my leotard on and took a photo trying to wear like black shoes with the purple leotard in the same pose to send back to Millie. That was so cute. Silly, the funny the things you do sometimes. And it's just so fun to document them. Talking of everyday things, here I have just got a snippet of everyday life. I have got my favourite bowl, which Louis has since broken. And I have documented a weekly menu. So we've got Monday, meatballs in tomato and red pe pepper and basil sauce. Um, spaghetti with homemade cheese and garlic bread. Tuesday, spicy Thai pumpkin soup. Wednesday, breaded haddock, rusty peas and grilled tomatoes. Thursday, ginger chicken udon. Friday, chicken wings and fries. Saturday, seafood paella. And Sunday, a roast beef dinner. And I've just got, I love planning our weekly menu. Every Sunday, I sit down with a recipe book and my diary and plan our weekly menu. I love cooking and being organised. This works for me for the week of 26th of November 2012. I love the snippets of everyday life. I really do. They're so fun to look back on. This one, we've got a silly story of Holly on the beach. Love that red paint. It really goes with the red border, doesn't it? So I've got red layered with white, layered with patterned paper. And they're the same colors there throughout. And sometimes you make a page and years later you have no idea when you created that page how special it would become. This one is of my uncle who sadly passed a couple of years ago quite suddenly. We absolutely adored him. We loved him so much. And I love this moment. We had such a lovely time. Um, we had tickets to go and watch Glee live at the O2 and he bought his two girls and we just had the best afternoon. It was so much fun. And I'm so grateful now that I've made this page. It feels very, very special. Just a silly little one of Holly and Louie, just talking about how they grow up so fast. I've got a circle here, which I did with a circle cutter. I've sprayed it with green, and I bet there's a layout somewhere with a green mist and a white circle from underneath, and then I would have used the circle that I cut out. I did that a lot. And I've used some ribbon here, which I've attached with some brads, some sparkly brads, as you can see. I really like that one and just simple journaling you don't need to go fancy sometimes sometimes just some lines with the journaling looks brilliant and back to the everyday again this was shrek juice i started making shrek juice um when the kids were toddlers it's um with, made with the juicer it was apples um, lime and spinach through the juicer called it shrek juice just so they would eat it and they absolutely loved it so i documented that and then this one was about when Louis was playing football. It was a very cold, wet game. Um, he came off feeling really, really poorly. Um, but he picked up when we were back in the car and we ended up stopping and getting a McDonald's drive through So just one of those where I've just grabbed a couple of photos with my phone. No particular special moment. But it's one that I really, really cherish. I still remember that now and think of it every single time. We drive through past that McDonald's in Bracknell. It always remembers, um, reminds me of this day. And another snippet of my everyday life 10 years ago. And I've called this one One Day. I've done the same thing using... I want to do this again. That's really inspired me. See what I mean about looking through your old work for ideas. I've had chipboard alphas there. And I've had, that's one of my punches there, and I've created um, like my own stencil. And there as well, using buttons in the centre. I really want to do that again. So I have documented, number one, each weekday starts like this. There we go, five o'clock. Number two, it's the thought of the coffee machine that drags me out of bed each morning. Number three... Um, at work, at my desk until 7am, so I used to get up at 5, work till 7, then wake the kids, jump in the shower, fix breakfast, then tidy the kitchen, hoover downstairs, dust clean, and then the school run. And that's uh, the kids there walking to school with me behind. Uh, number four, the crock pot has become my best friend. I always plan a weekly menu. Dinner gets prepped at 8.30am when I get in from school. Number five, I then get stuck into my work. My whole day is spent in my studio working. My studio looks so different there. 
I love my job, I work hard, I'm very disciplined, I listen to the radio and drink lattes. That's before YouTube days. I always had the radio on then and would drink so many lattes. Um, six, at 3 p.m. I head back out to school. I try not to drive, but I often work till the last minute and end up driving halfway. So I used to, I remember this, driving halfway just so the kids and I had a little bit of a walk. And um, the, school, the school run was a mile. So I used to try and walk it so I'd get a couple of miles in. Well, I'd get four miles in walking there and back, but sometimes I'd end up um, having to drive part way. We get home at 3.45 p.m., snacks get made, lunch boxes cleaned, some chores, more work, and a family dinner at 5.30. Number eight, Tuesday is always a rush. Oh, so I guess I've done one particular day here. As Louis has football, we always try and spend some time together around this time. Homework gets done, games get played. There we go. We always used to play a lot of games. Again, this is all before games consoles and things like that. Nine, followed by the bath time, bedtime routine, and then ten. Come 7.30, 8 p.m., I'm ready to start work again. I bring work into the lounge so I can sit with aid, watch TV or movies until about 11 p.m. And that was a typical work day. It's so cool. I've been talking about, about this with my friend Claire, actually. She's been doing the Ali Edwards, like, day in the week, and that kind of thing. And like we were saying how your work week your or your normal week, even if you're not working, just seems quite mundane and boring. But just to see a little snippet there of how things are, this is for me now 10 years later. It's fascinating. I'm so glad that I've done this. This is a day. I've done them a week as well. I've made mini books. I really, really encourage you to do it. It's so much fun to look back on. And sometimes I've got layouts where I haven't even journaled. I've just done a couple of fun photos there of the boys. And another example, no particular reason for a layout. I just fancied doing that page with the kids on it. And um, this one, I was looking through, this one made me laugh. Uh, laugh. Again, it's just something I've documented about what kids say. And Holly had been complaining, apparently. Um, why can't we have shop bought kids? Um... Apparently, she wanted to be like the others at school and have shop-bought uh, cakes. But um, I've always baked from scratch. I've always made everything from scratch. And um, But I was saying how she'd come around full circle and was now really happy that I do all the home baking. So it's quite funny, again, just to read that and just see the conversation. I've got a Snow Patrol um, concert layout here from the 11th of Feb 2012. We were really lucky. We used to have free access to one of the VIP boxes in the O2 through AIDS work and we used to go to loads and loads of concerts. Um, VIP access, we used to like park at the front, use the lounge and then use the box. It was so, so nice and we never paid a penny. We went to so many concerts in those years. That's when we went to Glee with my uncle as well. We could get friends in as well, family. It was so much fun. So that's Snow Patrol there. And another one with my dad, just a little family one. And then the last two, just one about Holly being easy to please and how she never asks for anything at Christmas. And again, this is one taken at SeaWorld. I remember taking that, but it's nothing to do with the actual layout. I love the white mist on the craft there using a stencil. That looks so cool. And I've layered up the alphabet chipboard there, which looks really nice. And then the final one, oh, one of Aid and I. This was a paper, which I've added a couple of, oh, that's a stencil, that's a stamp there. And just talking about aid and I, and that was, oh, I still fancy the pants off you. <laughs> that was 10 years ago. Oh, and that's us on Santa Monica Beach. That water looks so beautiful. We're going, uh, not Santa Monica, Anna Maria Island. We're hoping to go there in October with my mum, so that would be nice. But that is my 2012 scrapbook album. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's inspired some ideas. Let me know if it has. Let me know if you've seen something that you fancy trying or something that you used to do and you haven't done for ages. I'm definitely going to get the mists and some alphabet stickers out and do that little um, thing again with um, removing them. That looks so cool. I'd forgotten I used to do that. But thank you for watching. I've thoroughly enjoyed sharing this scrapbooking album with you and I look forward to sharing more with you again soon. I'll leave the link below to my other flip throughs as well. Take care. Bye.